Hello folks, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to migrate your existing GitHub repositories into code commit. Typically, people will be using any source code control. It might be GitHub, GitLab, or you might be having some other version control system. And if you want to migrate them to code commit, we are going to see how we can do that. So I have written a GitHub article. Let us go ahead and follow the article and initiate the migration. To migrate any repository, there is one core prerequisite that we need to have that is access to your code commit through SSH or in any kind of terminal. If you have not done that, go ahead and do that. This demonstration that is here on the prerequisite section should be able to help you configure that in your account. Let us go ahead and see what we need to do. The first thing is we, what we are going to do is we are going to mirror the existing repository into a local a dev machine or migration machine wherever you want to do this we are going to set up some variables so that we can run it in an automated way or you can run it in an incremental way also in today's demo we are going to just migrate only one repository you should be able to iterate this multiple times to uh, migrate many repositories over a period of time what we are going to do now is there is a repository called as lex faq bot this is the other demo that you have seen there in the channel so we are going to migrate this repository from github to aws code commit so i have taken this url that you can see here this is the url and i have put up the url here so that we can clone it and mirror it and i'm going to use the frankfurt region if you are using the different region go ahead and put that and once again i'm going to use the same name for my code commit repository also so i have set up my default variables go ahead and change them if you require it so during the migration phase, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a code commit repository. As of now, if I go into my code commit console, now you can see here there is only one repository that is predict attire for whether the Lex repository is not there. So what we have eventually should have is this Lex FAQ bot should be automatically migrated to the code commit. First, we will be creating the repository, then we are going to do a clone, and then we are going to push all the commits, all the temporary stage files and everything, including the tags also. We are finally going to remove the local directory. We are going to verify it on the console whether we have done all that correctly. So let us go ahead and execute these instructions from my terminal. First, we are going to set up all the environmental variables so that our script can run automatically. So that is done. Next, let us go ahead and create the repository. So our repository is created. You can see here the clone URL and the ARN number is also there. Now we are going to clone the GitHub repository locally. The clone is completed successfully. Now let us begin the push into code commit. Change into the code commit repository, then go ahead and push it. Now my SSH keys have been automatically added because I have already enabled SSH access for my code commit from this terminal and all the files are getting pushed there. Now the files have been pushed. Now I'm going to push all the tags as well. So let us push the tags. So now my two tags have been pushed. Let us go to the AWS console and see whether all these actions have taken place. I'm going to refresh my page so that we can go ahead and see what all the repositories are there. You can see here there is a new repository here, Lex FAQ bot. If I open it, I can see all the files that are there in my repository. If I go to my tag section, you can find that there are two tags are there. If I want to go and see my commit histories, you can see all the commit histories are also here. So that is how you migrate your GitHub repository into code commit. Go ahead and try this in your account. It's very simple. You can go ahead and automate it or have an incremental Lambda function. If you have any problems, go ahead and put them in the comment section or join the Galaxy Slack discussions. If you like our videos, go ahead, like them, comment on them, subscribe to our channel so that we can create more content like this. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.